video is sponsored by G Portal. I host my servers with them and you can too. Save 5% with the link in the description. Subscribe for more Valheim. Hey everybody, today I'm here with Gwen in our community village of Naomi. Hello, Gwen. Hi. Hello. How's it going? Good, good. So Gwen, what is your role here in Naomi? I am the innkeeper, it seems. I joined the very first week, I think, of the server when we were just building this uh, beautiful town. Um, and we needed a tavern, so I volunteered to build it and decorate it. And it's become a bit of a community hub now because it's where we've got all our uh, food storage and where we all cook for the community. Um, but we also have some beds upstairs for newcomers. That's so, awesome. Yeah. A, a place for people to get a, a start when they first arrive to the server. Exactly. Well, so I believe right behind you is the tavern, right? Do you want to show us around? Yep. Yeah. All this power is made possible by my Zydax Gaming PC. Get a great deal on your next gaming PC with my link in the description. Yeah, so the build itself is very simple. I am not the best of builders. I'm more into, into the decoration aspect, um, as you'll probably see inside. Um, but I think I, I wanted to keep uh, at least one of the buildings to be a bit more uh, Viking in inspired. So I was going for more of a longhouse look. I ended up looking kind of halfway between a, a pub and a, and a longhouse, but I guess that's all right. Um, and yeah, we, for the build itself, I did, I built the structure um, and initially made it with normal roof. And then we upgraded it bit by bit. I got some help from other players to um, add some more detail to the building and uh, yeah, evolved a little bit over the last couple of weeks. Well, it's very cool. I especially love all the decorations you've done. You you want to show us this outside area since it's so prevalent on the camera the last uh, few uh, moments we've been yeah. out here? So this is just a little like beer garden, I guess, uh, <laughs> for the uh, for the tavern. So a little bit of an outdoor area for people to congregate. And yeah, I just wanted to add a little bit more color to this area of town. So little flower bed. Um, Oh, you can't really see it now because it's getting dark, but hold on, let me equip this. Um, I use some item stands and put some uh, Grey Dwarf Brute trophies to have the dandelion sticking out as well. Um, and then use just other uh, vegetables for the flowers. Oh yeah, so you um, have extra flowers because you use the uh, trophy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I maybe I'll add a few more just so that it's a bit more noticeable at some point. But uh, but yeah, I like the little the variety in all these flowers and then the string lights, um, which is an idea I think I got inspired by a post or a YouTube video. Um, someone did exactly that, used uh, all the yellow mushrooms to make some fairy lights, and I thought that would look quite cool. Yeah, um, I love and, it. Yeah. And if anybody's yeah. wondering, the blue mushrooms um, were awarded to Gwen for uh, and Thorin. They both got them for um, doing the uh, putting together the big Halloween event uh, theme park for the server. So we wanted, I wanted to uh, reward them with something special that you can't get in any other way, and it looks great. Yeah, uh, I like it too. It adds even more color, which is great. Yeah, I do like lots of color myself. Mm -hmm. So then in the tavern itself, uh, just a little bit of decoration out there to make it more realistic. And this is our food storage. Um, so we've got big chests in there, um, everything sorted. Um, a lot of players have been helping with just sorting, um, getting all the materials to get the reinforced chest and then sorting that area. Yeah, that's just a little bit of fun. I thought, you know, if we I guess have I should a, leave my weapons here. Of, exactly. If we're going to have a tavern full of Vikings, we don't want them fighting with their, 
with a sword. So I, I love those kinds of role playing touches. It just makes it so much more fun. Yeah, exactly. So I yeah. probably turn my light off in here. It looks pretty well lit. So much cool stuff in here. Where should we start? Um, we can start just going straight ahead with the main um, tavern area. It's uh, the banners are still the Halloween decorations. Uh, I, I I try to theme it a little bit with uh, the holidays and the events and stuff. So I I took some red and black, and obviously we've got the little Jacko turnip over there. But soon I'll uh, I'll change that again, and maybe for Christmas I'll do red and green. You know, Christmassy colors. We'll see. Yeah, I noticed you still had the jacko turnips outside as well. Yeah. I wanted to draw some people's attention to the table because uh, I have a feast hall um, in my single player server that I use in my videos sometimes. And I actually modeled it after your table because you've done such a clever, creative, decorative uh, elements here. You got your little fruit table there. Um and then you got your bread table. And I love how, I mean, at least to me, it looks like you sort of use the cloud berries as maybe like butter for the bread. Uh, yeah, exactly. Butter or like a little uh, bread rolls, whatever um, kind of works. But yeah, I like uh, I like that. It's, uh, it's interesting how doing this, I was testing loads of different items. It's kind of weird. Some items you can attach, some you can't. So had to kind of play around with it um, a little bit. But um, yeah, the other thing I like attaching is I'm going to do it now because uh, someone, uh, I think, uh, took a night and I was here. Oh. <laughs> uh, the the uh, bugberries. Yeah. I, I like how they look. They look like tiny apples. Yeah, um, they or, look great. Yeah. I had completely forgotten about them. I had a little bit of fruit on my table. And then when I saw your fruit, plate over there with your apples I thought ooh I gotta do that yeah exactly so um, over here you can see and, and that's like something that's quite common now I think it's not a, an original idea but I really love that I, I saw it multiple times online and I just love the wooden shields used as a as a plate I find it it looks really cool rather yeah. than just having all the food lying around on the table so well, yeah, yeah, it gives it dimension, pretty... lifts it up from the table, mm -hmm. and it actually hides the item stands a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, exactly. The tricky thing I found, um, and you can probably see it uh, if I take it off, is um, not only putting the shield in the right place and placing all the items. Oh, hello, Brewdog. Oh, uh, Brewdog we... is here. <laughs> I think he's hungry. Um not only putting all the all the items, but also uh, playing around with the height of the item stands so that the items on top of them don't sink in the, the shield. Um, it took me so long. I think that's what took me the longest was just like getting it the right, exactly the right height. Um, yeah, it's a bit tricky, but. Yeah, I was for mine, my table, I was using uh, two or three item stands to raise or lower things. Yeah, uh, so yeah, that exactly. it, it looked a little better because yeah, sometimes it sinks too down into the uh, plate. Mm -hmm. And this yeah, right exactly. here, I just love this. Well, first off, yeah, you have the butcher knife for the butter, bread and butter, which mm -hmm. looks great. And this this meat table or uh, meat meat tray with the uh, the tower shield that just mm -hmm. looks amazing. And I love you got little boar jerky sticking out from the uh, cooked lox meat there. It, mm -hmm. it just it looked like a decorative element and and I did copy it on mine if you ever watch uh, the uh, patreon thank you or supporter thank you at the end of my video I, you'll see that them I have chairs mm -hmm. with their names on it around my table and yes I copied your board jerky <laughs> plate here or the whole meat plate pretty much because it looks so so nice yeah, why, why you. reinvent the wheel <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And uh, I mean, most of my inspiration comes from um, l looking at the great builds and decorations that people put out there. And then um, and then also just thinking a little bit differently f of items. Like another idea that I will put in place at some point is um, the tower shields look pretty cool. And I'm wondering if we place them on a wall and align them, it would make a nice kind of different textured wall or it could be a nice, um, how do you call it? You know, those panels behind the the beds, the 
headboards. It could make a really cool different headboard and just upgrade a little bit your normal bed. So it's, yeah, it's kind of like playing around with all these items, thinking of different applications to them and just trying stuff out. It's a lot of spending a lot of time <laughs> playing with item stands. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's nice that you say that because I, I hadn't thought about that, but it is such a unique wood texture with the narrow mm -hmm. boards on it. We don't quite have anything like that. So I can see that being almost like a wallpaper on a wall or mm -hmm. or maybe even like a, a frame for displaying something else. Yeah. Yeah, like a yeah, like a wall board. Um, one of those like boards where you pin loads of pictures and post-it notes and things like that. <laughs> So I want to tell me which mod did you install to make this round table down here at the bottom? Uh -huh. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna that, reveal that's the secret. Very of this. cute. <laughs> Boom! Yeah, it is just a stool, uh, a stool with a wooden uh, wooden shield. Uh, yeah, I've used. Again, like, oh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. No, again, it's like just thinking of like different ways those shapes can be used, um, and then just playing around with it trying different things yeah i've used the uh, stool as as like a little end table next to a bed but i had not thought to put a, a round shield on it and it definitely makes it look a little more unique mm -hmm. now it's the tricky bit is like replacing it back up uh, uh, uh. yeah because yeah, you gotta yeah, find that little spot <laughs> for the item stand you know what i was exactly. thinking too is that tower shield could even make a uh, sort of um well here in the states we call it like a coffee table in your living room is yeah that, yeah is that is that what you guys might call it over there yeah, in the uk table. yeah yeah it could it would make a cool uh, cool table yeah a little decorative table with a mm -hmm. unique wooden um pattern yeah oh and of I course think one of my uh yeah yeah uh, one of the things i love as well is the uh the fire resistance wine the bottle it really looks like a, a wine bottle. It's, it's great. I love it. That looks like something that belongs on a Viking table. Yeah. I actually, for some reason, that was one of the few things I don't think I had ever seen. I don't think I had ever made one until I first walked into your tavern and I saw it sitting over here on your bar. Mm -hmm. And I thought, when did they add that to the game? <laughs> I guess yeah, I, I had just never made it. Exactly. It, it looks super cool. I feel like it, I mean, I don't really use it much in, as a, as a mead anyway. So <laughs> for me, it just belongs on the table as a decoration. Yeah, it's, it's so much more decorative than most of the other things with the cork in it, little pattern on the side, a, mm -hmm. a cute little handle. It looks perfect for, for holding some Viking mead or something. Yeah, hopefully they make more of these with the new uh, biomes and new resources, materials coming out. Um, it's uh, opportunities for them to introduce new items like this that look as cool as uh, as this. Yeah. And of course, you guys have a mead horn of Odin. Yes, generously uh, gifted. Well, you guys had put so much hard work into this place. I had to make sure you guys had something decorative to add to it. Yeah, it looks really cool next to uh, to the wine. Oh, let's see. What does it yeah. say up here on your signs? Bar rules. No <laughs> bead served to under eights. Yeah. Can you I explain that to me? It's not a term I'm familiar <laughs> with. No. So you know how... Oh, well, well I suppose in the US it's different because your legal age to drink is 21. But here in the UK, it's 18. And... Um, all the bars are very strict about that um, because otherwise they could get their license removed. So everywhere you go, if you look under 25, you have to show ID to get served um, alcohol. And so there's like lots of very strict rules in all the pubs about that. And initially I put no meat served un um, no meat served to under 18s. And then I thought, wait, wait a minute, we're Vikings. Vikings <laughs> were probably already married at 18, you know, like they were probably drinking uh, mead from the very younger, much younger ages. So I removed the one and it's kind of a, yeah, just a lot of, another little fun thing there. It doesn't make much sense, but 
It, it's cool. actually okay. funny. I've, I've had a smile on my face the whole time you're explaining it because it started to dawn on me. Of course, in throughout human history, people, you know, they they didn't have all the social laws that we have now. And, you know, they married and had children younger and probably went to, to battle in their early teens, you know, if they had to. And so, yeah, why not? Why not have a, a good, strong drink when you're nine? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Before going to uh, your uh, Tuesday raid. Exactly. And of course, do not anger the shield maiden. That makes total sense. Uh, yeah, so that one, I don't, I'm, it's not, I don't know who put that here. Um, oh. But I just left it because it's, again, another fun little thing. Um, a lot of signs in Naomi have been put by various different people. So it's quite nice. It's uh, everyone's contribution um, signature to uh to the town so yeah i i left it fun yeah it's fun when when you see people contributing in ways like that and you don't really want to tear it down unless it's sort of inappropriate or just kind of bothersome but it seems like mm -hmm. everybody's been pretty good about that yeah so this is a little bar area tap room uh, with our fermenters. That's where we keep our, our mead as well, um, whenever we, we make some spare. Um, and the explanation to this little window, uh, if we go outside, you'll see, I think we should see it on the server tour as well, but. Going, take away mead, you got a little takeout window. I love that. Yeah, so do, I was gonna ask, do people actually run by and grab these like do when you come by do you find that those are empty sometimes <laughs> no no i think people just leave that as a decoration but um again it's just one of those little details that adds a bit of life to the build and to the village yeah no it's totally fun and you have a brewmaster wandering around outside here too. yeah so these two they keep escaping or glitching out but they're supposed to be uh behind the the bar um Oh, but yeah, but, they, they no, get outside that little wall, up. huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember um, people saying, and, and my wolves too, in my old village, that they would always get outside the fences that I put up and seemed like the only way to keep them in place were to dig a hole in the ground. Yeah, I don't know what it is because I never saw them jump over things, so I wonder if they're just glitching out. Um, yeah. Bit strange, but very cool. Oh yeah, and I love I love this little spot here too, especially with the the, the lights. Good meat, good Vikings, good times. <laughs> yeah, so that's like a, again the classic pub thing of good good beer, good drinks. Uh, no, good beer, good friends, good times. Um, just adapted for for Valheim. Let me uh, punch Hugin here. He keeps following me around. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. I disabled him. But yeah, I love this sign. I think when I first ran up to the tavern, when I first saw it, this was one of the first things I ever saw. And it just, it put me in a good mood before I even walked in. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so you have a gate right next to you. Got the yeah, we've got the tavern gates here. Um, one of the four gates, I think, that lead uh, out of the this side of town. And you're close to the uh, the portal that goes to the portal hub. That's handy. Yeah, the tavern is really well situated because it's the the portal hub right here, and then there's the um, the storage room, crafting area um, over there. So it's great when you need to go on a on a mission, you can quickly run from one building to another, grab the food you need, grab the um, uh, materials you need to craft more arrows and whatnot, and then hop through the portal hub. So, Very yeah. nice. So uh, what else do you have in there? You have a lot of stuff still we haven't seen. Yeah, we've got the kitchen area. Now we can go check out. Um, so that's our little cooking station, fully upgraded with uh, the all the utensils and the pots and the uh, stone oven and everything. And then in this little corner that I had, I thought I'll 
do a little decorative thing just to make it feel more like a kitchen, a, a, a used kitchen. So we've got some shelves with some decorations up there. Um, and this little uh, counter, I guess. Yeah. Where it looks like uh, someone was uh, halfway through cutting a fish. I don't think I've ever seen a carrot on an item stand. Yeah, that's again one of the things I discovered while playing around with all the different food items, see what uh, what can be displayed. Um, I, I love the green cool. leaves on it. That adds so yeah. much color and, you know, because it's, it's the, kind uh, of spread out. It's, it looks really, really nice. Oh, you just gave me an idea. If you can attach them to stands like this, we could make... Uh, snowmen for Christmas. I don't know how we can do the the body, but one of us will figure out a way to make a snowman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we do have a holiday decoration contest coming up in December, and I'll, I'll be doing mm -hmm. a video on that. I also love your, your fruit basket in the corner there and how you can, you know, put uh, some writing on the, um, what is it, the signs to make it just like Mm -hmm. Look like wicker or something, or some pattern in the wood. Yeah, so that was also inspired by a, a, a YouTube video that I had seen. And there's lots of cool decoration ideas. And um, and yeah, those signs are great. You can use them for so many things to create boxes like here, to create um, uh, items of furniture like the wardrobe, uh, not the wardrobe, the, yeah, the chest of drawers that Balder did in his house. Uh, yeah, the signs are really, really good for that. And of course, we have your ice box the fridge. Yeah, that's a super so that's a, good idea. What What is providing the light in there? Is it the uh, the meat at the bottom? Um, it's uh, or is it keys? Um, keys. Yeah. So the way I built it, I actually placed the keys uh, inside the side walls, oh. the wooden walls. Okay. Um, took me a few tries, but initially I had it where the keys were visible, but I didn't quite like the look. So to ha to still get the glow, but without seeing the key, I managed to clip the item stand um, in one spot, place the key, and then clip the wooden wall to the side um, on top of it. Um, so the item stands with the keys are invisible, but the glow of the keys are still projecting. Oh, and the, and the keys don't pop off the item stand being clipped no. in the wall, huh? Yeah, they, they they stay in there. That's a great effect. It makes this, the whole area look like um, it's very cold. Like even yeah. even the side of the, the ice box there, it, it's a great effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, the first time I saw um, the those crystal walls, I just immediately thought that they looked like ice more than actual glass. So yes. it gave me that idea of like making some sort of uh, Viking style fridge or freezer. Um, and since we have also the uh, the ice cream now. Yeah. Yeah, that just worked really, really well. And yeah. I think some of the light might come also from the, the meat and the ice cream because they do glow a little bit too. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's something I haven't seen on anybody else's build before. I've seen lots of table and food decorations, but never an ice box. Yeah. I love it. I'll probably be copying this <laughs> at some point. Feel free. Feel free. <laughs> All right, we can head upstairs. There's a lot less decorations to log out upstairs, but um, since I was talking about how we want this to be a, a good uh, welcoming tavern for new players or, or travelers um, on our server. I thought it might be might, might be worth just uh, showing the inn upstairs and the little um, side business of mine. Yeah, check in, check out desk. <laughs> yeah. If you enjoyed your stay, please leave a donation. Do you get many donations? I think there's a few in there. There's um, uh, a few coins, a bee, a few bits and pieces. Yeah. Um, but essentially, this is really a, a, a place where brand new players can come and have a, a safe bed and spawn point before they get to build their own base. 
uh, it's getting crowded now because we have so many newcomers to the to the server but everyone's got a little chest um, to store some of their items and then a, a bed and it looks like they have a pretty good view here of the uh, of the village yeah. in the water and it looks like they can see the suburbs across the way too mm-hmm Oh, and your light string is easily visible from here. That must look great at night. Yeah, it's quite... Uh, yeah, Naomi at night is uh, is just getting better and better because there's so many different lights and um, decorations and things. And yeah, um, probably worth another video for the next uh, updated server tour. Yeah, and, and uh, if we don't walk through it at night i'll have to do some footage later at, at night to show it off mm -hmm. and you got a little bathhouse area up here yeah so i think that was probably shown also on the um server tour uh talkers call it the uh, instagram hot tub area <laughs> oh <laughs> um he, he actually built this uh balcony because essentially we wanted the tavern to have the maximum comfort so the only thing that was left to install was a hot tub. Um, All right. And we didn't have space inside the tavern, so we just built this little uh, balcony coming out. And it's quite nice, actually, because you can have a nice uh, nice so soak and have a, a, a view on the fields down there. Yeah, especially when, the, um, when you're trying to grow seeds, you get all the flowers. Mm-hmm. And yeah, this brings us to uh, our max comfort level in in the tavern, which is good. So where where um, is the max comfort level? Is it right about here? Six. Yeah, oh, yeah I'm getting exactly. seventeen right about here. Mm -hmm. So it's I think it's the max that we can get without spawning a maple. Yeah, there may be some maples awarded in future events, mm -hmm. and um, of course, with the holidays coming up, I'm guessing yule trees will be yule available tree. too. Yeah, exactly. And private innkeeper's bedroom, of course, you've got your own space. Yeah. <laughs> so people make fun window. of me because I still only, like, this is my base. This is, I'll just remove this because um, oh, it personal blocks portal. the view. But yeah. it, I essentially just live in the tavern. Uh, <laughs> I just uh, have a, a little bedroom here. Um, I used uh, one of the lovely blue mushrooms as a little night lamp. Oh, yeah, you had one left over. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you went with the um, the heads uh, from uh, the graylings, the gray dwarfs, the gray, br gray dwarf brutes and the gray dwarfs for your uh, wall decoration. That looks really neat. Yeah, I like the uh, anything that glows uh, and uh, this has different colors as well, so. Oh yeah, I bet at night it looks really neat in here because you've got the mushroom, the key, the jackal turnip. Yeah, exactly. That I mean, that was the main uh, reason I put all of this on the wall because I didn't want to have to constantly light up a torch um, <laughs> to have light in the bedroom. So I thought I'm gonna stick glowy stuff on the wall and then have just a jackal turnip in the in the corner uh, for extra decoration. Looks like you got a little bonus ichthyr antlers coming through there too just a little bit <laughs> yeah <laughs> gotta make sure you keep your shoes on my exactly. stub a toe so well. yeah that's um that's my little cozy bedroom and i'm working on another mini mini build uh which will be a bit more uh, uh inspired by uh kind of viking lore and some of the role-playing stuff that we're doing on the server it will be my little witch hut um, found a perfect spot for it and uh, still building it. I need to finish decorating it and then I'll, I'll be happy to show that off too. I was just going to ask uh, before you started explaining what was the next thing you were going to be working on, but that's great to hear <laughs> that you've already got something in the works. Yeah, so the little hut and then obviously we we need to get onto those uh, Christmas decorations. So got lots and lots of ideas. I just need to find good spots for it. And uh, yeah, I'll probably team up with other people on that because I'm. I get really easily distracted. I always have a million ideas, and I find big builds are really 
a bit of a struggle because I am not very good at the building aspect. Um, so what I'm doing now is just teaming up with people. Uh, they do the building because they're a lot more talented than I, and I I do the interior. It works quite well. Now that sounds like a a really good uh, combination of skills to bring together. So create a little teamwork and community mm -hmm. effort on a project. Exactly. Uh, that's the fun thing about being on a on a multiplayer server as well. Is like you 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 bring certain skills. Other people might have have other skills, and so yeah, by teaming up, we can create beautiful things like this town. I can see people asking you if they pro if they haven't already to uh, stop by their build and recommend some <laughs> some decorations. Have you have you gotten <laughs> some of that? Yeah, yeah, I did. Actually, if you follow me, we can go check out the notice board, which is another cool little detail um, of Naomi that um, that we can show. Um, <laughs> we So because we all are now spending more time in, in more the role playing aspects or the uh, trading aspects, um, we put together this little notice board so that anyone who has any things to trade um, or any services to that they want to sell um, can add there. So as you can see, I've got a little post there saying interior designer for hire. Um, we've got some uh, some players that are setting up like a, a, a meat farm um, and have like a, a butchers and who will be trading meats. Um, there's we've got a, a cool very cool ice cream stand that gluco built in the portal hub so yeah this is our little advertising uh board i guess and yeah a couple of people have asked me to to help um so yeah i'm i'm always happy it, it, that's my problem is i have lots of ideas but not enough time to actually execute them so i'm happy to distribute some of those ideas uh, <laughs> outsource them for other people to make them happen Yes, uh, outsourcing is uh, very handy. I, I'm learning that, especially uh, starting. I start when you know I started the server j just a short while ago, and uh, I was surprised to see how many people so quickly started to join and, and have interest. And mm -hmm. I I was a little overwhelmed by all of the things, and you know, so I recruited people like yourself to be an admin and help, and it's been so so useful to to have uh, people who can help take care of things but also just come up with great ideas and and go and get them done or you know think of ways to welcome new players and make everybody feel welcome it's mm -hmm. it takes a lot of uh you know burden away from just one person trying to figure out how to use discord because i've never been this involved <laughs> with it in all of the different things you can do with discord and of course running a youtube channel and my character, this is my admin character, but uh, let's see, I can show you admin up there in my name. But um, my character is still living in the, he's just barely getting into the Bronze Age. Are you still on your little, uh, was it an island where you got dropped off? Yeah, uh, I, I was determined to, to uh, get to the Bronze Age and build my own portals and ship before I could come back and, and be a part of the community and... You know, I had to earn my way a little bit. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I haven't dedicated as much time to it as I want. But um, I wanted to do – it was perfect because it was two little islands and a little river that went between them. And I wanted to do kind of a little canal build mm. there. So maybe maybe I'll get around to it. But I'm having so much fun, you know, learning about the game and making videos and just – seeing what the community does and engaging with the community that it's almost more fun so yeah yeah my character is not very advanced either uh, i yeah i mean i've i help out the community when i can in terms of uh, getting resources and stuff but i spend little time exploring by myself I, i'd rather play with others and and join join others on the uh mining missions and things like that but uh yeah the the role playing aspect and the fact that we're all playing together and having these adventures together is uh definitely the best part of this game and this server yeah there's petraz right there saying hello hey, petraz 
Oh, look, we actually have um, your um, tavern all lit up because we were here so long. You get to yeah. see, see all the cool lights. Oh, hey, Tolkis, I'm uh, doing a quick Hi. little video here with Gwen showing off her tavern. Oh, okay. Um, uh, sorry if I bother you. Shall I leave? Oh, no, you can hang out. We're just oh. about done, I think. We did the whole tour, and now I'm just taking a quick look while it's nighttime so I can see all the cool lighting mm -hmm. at night. Oh, okay. I should Sounds probably good. grab my weapons, get caught without them. Yeah, I wanted to look up, outside, up in your second level outside. Oh, in your bedroom, too. Yeah. Yeah, you are getting quite a bit of light. Well, you do have the jacko turnip, mm -hmm. but even without the jacko turnip, the uh, the gray dwarf trophies do look really good on the wall. Well, Gwen, thank you so much for showing off the tavern. Well, thank you. Oh, where are you? There <laughs> you go. Yeah, I was uh, wondering if you'd be peeking up from the that window up there. Oh um, yeah, I took a quick look and to show everybody. Um, but yeah, if. Uh, Tolkis or, or Gwen or anybody here is anybody else has got a build and it's ready for prime time for the YouTube viewers. Yeah, let me know. I would love to record that. Sounds good. Well, thanks for dropping by. Uh, help yourself to some food. Have a little mead for the road. I'd like to give a huge thanks to my supporters. You Vikings are an amazing bunch. If you'd like to be honored in my videos, simply make a one-time donation with the thanks button below. Or to be honored every month, plus other fun perks, use the join button or consider becoming a patron with the link in the description. Your support will help me continue to create more great videos. Skull!